Okay, next is SR flip flop. Okay, so operation of SR flip flop is actually quite similar of the SR latch. Okay, so the equation also uh, uh, similar with the SR latch. So the differences of SR latch and SR flip flop. So latch output, which is SR latch, okay, react immediately to any output changes. Okay, so if you remember. Your Q value will change immediately okay, when S or R are changed. But for the flip flop, okay, so the flip flop output change controlled by the clock pulse, okay, which is CLK. Okay, we use the CLK to uh, represent the clock pulse. So, meaning that you cannot change your Q until you reach at your clock pulse. Right. So the flip flop with small triangle on the clock indicates okay, the input is activated only when the clock changes from 0 to 1. So this means by the small triangle. So this is actually the diagram okay, for SR flip flop. So you have two output, sorry, two input S and R, and you also have two output which is Q and Q bar. Okay. So when the clock changes from 0 to 1, so this clock we known as positive coin transition or positive 8 trigger. So we have two kind of clock, okay, which is for positive clocks and also negative clock. So when the clock changes from 0 to 1, okay, that uh, known as positive. Okay. So based on this excitation table, so this excitation table is actually quite the same with the previous excitation table for SR latch except we need to add another column okay which is the clock column okay what means by this column meaning that before you can uh, change the Q next state okay uh, you need to uh, okay you need to refer to the clock uh, changes okay so whenever the clock change so you can change the Q state Okay, which is the next state of Q. Okay. It's not immediately changes yeah, compared to the SR latch. Okay, the truth thought table also is uh, quite similar with the previous one, except you just add uh, clock. Okay, you just add a clock column. Okay, that's it. Okay, meaning that you need to refer to the clock value and then you compare with uh, the value of input S and R and then you can uh, draw the Q okay, which is your output mode is actually uh, same because we still use the SR okay, set, reset okay. so I think you will understand more if you refer to this uh, waveform diagram okay, so assume the Q is equal to 0 initially Okay, determine the QA form for the SR flip flop. Okay, so based on this question, you will given the clock value S and also R. Okay, so you need to draw the Q. Okay, you need to draw the Q wave form. So example, in this case, we have uh, eight value of clock. This is just a uh, example. Eh? And then the clock is positive. Okay, why positive? Because you refer to the arrow. So this clock arrow uh, is changed from 0 to 1. It's go up. Okay. So go up. Okay. That is mean by positive. It trigger. Okay. So if you refer to the previous uh, ledge, okay, SR ledge, the straight line, okay, you need to draw based on the changes of your S and R, right? But in this SR flip flop, Okay, the straight line here okay you need to draw based on the changes of your clock okay every time your clock change so you need to draw this straight line okay so when your clock change from 0 to 1 you just follow the arrow okay so uh, this straight line is actually uh, tell you uh, you can change your Q okay you can change your Q it's not immediately okay uh, based on this one, okay, the last sentence, so output Q change state 
when the clock is changed from 0 to 1. Okay, so the Q only can change when your clock changes from 0 to 1. Okay. So example for the first value of Q, so this is Q equal to 0 initially. Okay, so the Q equal to 0 initially. Okay, so you just draw Q equal to 0 until you reach at the first clock. So at this first clock, the clock changed from 0 to 1, right? So what will happen for the next state? Okay, you need to compare between the, the next value of S and R. Okay, so after this clock, so the, the S value is 0, so this is 0. And then your R value also 0. So what will happen? So 0, 0 means that you carry the mode hold, right? So hold, you hold the previous state. Okay, because the previous state is 0, so that's why you still carry the zero value until the next clock which is clock number two so you need to draw zero until you reach at the next clock okay if you refer to this diagram in the middle of clock one and clock two your s is suddenly changed right okay but your q cannot be changed okay because your changes of q is controlled by the clock okay uh, so you can uh, see the differences okay, between SR flip flop and latch. Okay, SR latch immediately. Okay, whenever your S or R change, your Q also change. But for flip flop, the changes of Q must be controlled by the clock. Okay, so for the next clock, okay, so it's clock number two. Now your S value is one, and then your R value is zero. So this one. This is zero. So one zero representing set operation. So set operation, the Q value is equal to one. Okay. So you need to carry the value is one until the next clock, which is clock number three. Okay. Although in the middle of clock number two and three, there are changes of S. So you cannot change your Q. Okay, you still need to carry the value of set or 1 until it reach at the next clock. Okay, until the next clock number 3, so you can compare value of S and R. Okay, so here is 0, 0. Okay, after clock, okay, after the clock change, so you can refer to the value of your SR. Okay, so 0, 0, so 0, 0 is whole, so you need to hold the previous state, which is the same state of the previous one which is one so that's why you carry one until clock number four okay so clock number four you compare value as r yeah so this is zero this is one so zero one is reset so reset you need that you need to go down to represent the zero for reset so you carry zero until the next clock which is clock number five here okay so clock number five your S is 1, your R is 0. So 1, 0 is set. So that's why it's go up to represent set until clock number 6. So clock number 6, your S is still 1 and then your R is 0. So that's why you still carry the mode set, which is value 1. Okay, clock number 7. Okay, your S is 0, your R is 0. So 0, 0 is whole. So you will hold the previous state so that's why it's equal to one until uh, next clock which is the last clock is class number eight so for clock number eight the value of s is zero the value of r is one so zero one representing reset so you'll go sorry you will go down okay so this is how you draw the q waveform for sr platform okay you must remember uh, the output Q change okay, when the clock change from 0 to 1. It's not immediately change okay, whenever SR change. Okay? So it must be changed when the clock is changed okay, from 0 to 1 or follow the positive transition. Okay? So this is example for SR flip-flop. So I hope you can uh, see the differences between SR latch and SR flip-flop.